Welcome to the National Day of Remembrance and Action on Violence Against Women. Today, we will be remembering the 14 women who were murdered in 1989 at the Montreal Massacre. We will also be holding space for the women's lives lost to femicide in the years 2020 to 2021. We will also remember the missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, and Two-Spirit in what's currently known as Canada. Before we begin, I'd like to lead us in a brief land acknowledgement. Taking a moment to extend my gratitude to the plants, animals, waters, and ancestors of the extending regions of Halton. We are gathered on the treaty lands of the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant. This treaty between the Anishabe, Mississaugas, and Houdanese people binds them together to share the territory and protect the land. Sappis of Halton's offices occupy land within this territory and we acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this traditional territory. These territories, stolen, ceded, and unceded, are home to many Indigenous people who have lived here from the time of memorial and continue to live here. We honour and respect the many Indigenous peoples of these lands and territories as we hope for a more just future. As we lean into reconciliation and truth, we must also lean into actionable change and calls for justice. We need to shift from remembering Indigenous women as missing and murdered to embracing them knowing them for their strength, their leadership, and contributions. The Montreal Massacre. 32 years ago, on December 6, 1989, 14 women lost their lives at the Ecole Polytechnique Engineering School in Montreal. A male gunman separated women and men and intentionally set out to kill these women as an anti-feminist attack. Three decades later, gender-based violence and femicide continues to exist presently and has increased since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we hold a vigil to memorialize the women whose lives were lost to hatred, misogyny, and anti-feminist violence. Gender-based violence. We are called to reflect on the inequality that all women, especially Black, Indigenous, and women, women of color, women with disabilities, non-binary folks, transgender women, and women with an X of the LGBTQ2S plus community, experience in their daily lives for their gender, sexual orientation, and identity. Our call to action. December 6th is a day to recognize that gender-based violence and femicide is not an issue of the past. It is present today, and we must continue to raise awareness, disrupt discriminatory patterns and systems, and advocate for equity and safety for all. I'm Sylvia Sams, I'm the Executive Director of SAVIS. December 6th is a day that we take time as Canadians to mourn for the 14 women who were murdered at the Eco Politic. We must remember that they, the reason that they were murdered was the fact that they were women, women who were st studying in fields that were considered male dominated, such as engineering. It's been over 32 years since that horrible day, and every single year on December 6th, and every day, in fact, we must remember the women who have been murdered by, by misogyny and by patriarchy. Please take the day to reflect and to honor the women in your own way. Thank you very much. Let us hold a few moments of silence and remembrance for the women who were murdered on this day in 1989. We will also remember missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls and Two-Spirit people and women of Ontario who, who were murdered in acts of femicide in 2020 and 2021.
Thank you.